Bryce back in again another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I modified my 12th Doctor's sonic screwdriver. Now yesterday I was messing around with this, my broken one, the touch control one, and I've actually got the innards out. This is how it works, it's like two blue wires with these um, metal contacts stuck to the piece of plastic to the side of your screwdriver and that's how it activates. And uh, and, this, and then it sends a current through you and back through the other side of the wire, and that's how it activates. So, yeah, still got that. Um, I've took this piece off, which is stuck on blue top at the minute, but this is a battered version of it now. What I've done is I ripped out the well, I've took this apart. What I did, unscrewed these off, off. Yeah, it looks damaged, you know. So, I've took it all apart and split it. As you can see, there's like a seam where I split it. And uh, I took the button out, it had a spring at the back, it wasn't long enough. And then I thought, why not try and make this flickable if the handle wasn't going to be able to cut them on. So what I've done is, you know, your usual, you'll take these off, you know, pry them off carefully. And then you just take this off and you get the red plastic bit and the spring itself. I've removed the spring completely, left the button on the bottom, took the spring out of the back of the button that holds down the thing because it didn't fit so it's pressure fit now and I put this on like so and then with this I got some of this stuff which is a double sided sticky tape which is actually firmed so it's actually nice and firm and I've used it from lights as you can see flashing through the back you won't be able to see it fully yet but then what I've done is I put this back on close it hang on it's clickable. There's an extending mode. Um, like so. So this is a Mac one. And this one's a damaged battle damage one, you know. We'll cut the I this was the first screwdriver I've got my hands back on. Um, I remember I had a load of screwdrivers and it went missing and broke. This one was the only one I had that was allowed and then I somehow managed to get others. And this was found in my old filing cabinet that I had upstairs in my old room. And I didn't know I had this. But yeah. As soon as it broke I thought modify it. That's what I'm going to have to do. So it's a damaged one. So I set this all off and modify it again. Like, seriously. It took the mic doing this. So if you want to take this apart, I would advise you to be careful. Get a triangular head screwdriver that actually fits. I'm not having to make one. Like I had to. And actually get... Take it all off. Pry off the top cone section, which you'll see has got bunged up there. Pull that off, then pry this off. This is usually glued on, but it'll pry off. You see? And then you'll be able to pull it out, all out and modify it. So, yeah. Damaged one. Neat one. You know, flickable. Like it should be in the chair. And this one, I aren't even going to attempt to modify this one. Even though I did say when I first got these, I'm not even going to attempt to modify them. But if they broke, then I had to, so this one's fine. I am going to modify this one, even though it's spring-loaded. Because I like it. And funny enough, if I'm going to use it as a nightlight, push this button. So you flick it open, back it in, push it again, so look, sensitive.
You get the point, don't you? You get the point. So yeah, this is my, I'll say Mark 2, because this one, this Mark 1, completely battered. Oh, now the screw sounds come out again, it's really annoying. Literally, there's none, you know the middle core, there's none of it left. I've had to use green felt tip stuff. You know that green felt stuff. Felt tips, I'll say. Let's get some new corner screws for this or something. You see, this has been used quite a lot and now it's starting to come away again. But, as I say, Davros has used it and it battered. Or, you could give it to the younger Davros. No? Okay then. Or you can do what Matt Smith did. Shh, don't worry. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my modification. Now the claws are a lot tighter in, as you can see. Compared to, yeah, there you go, compared, give me a sec, right, I've just noticed, now I've got breakfast, I'm going to uh, go downstairs, have my breakfast, and shout out goes to Pop Culture 044, channel link will be in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe and also like the video, and also add me on Snapchat, my snap I'll give it out in the next video. And also, in the next video, I'll probably do my Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote review, because yes, I finally ordered it. And it's coming at some point this week, or either next week. Well, it's supposed to be coming either two or three working days, but it'll either come on Thursday this week, or it'll come on the Wednesday next week. Well, in between them days, anyways. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And currently, it's nearly 11 o'clock at the minute, in the morning. You know, and yeah, and I know pop culture said it's like a rave party in our room, Drew. We'll get some sweets, get some music on, boom. I better stop now. I'll see you soon, and Alonzi.